Hello, welcome to HTML5 Tutorials, Chapter 12, HTML5 Local Storage, brought to you by Hang Pro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn about the HTML5 Local Storage. So, with the Local Storage, web applications can store data locally within the user's browser. Before HTML5, application data had to be stored in cookies, included in every server request. And local storage is more secure and large amount of data can be stored locally without affecting the website performance. This is what about the local storages and before local storage we used to make use of cookies to, to store the data locally in our browsers. And coming to the browser support, the local storage has a good support with these versions of browser and above. And in this slide, HTML is local storage objects. HTML local storage ob provides two objects for storing data on the client. They are the two objects are local storage and session storage. So when I access the local storage with the help of window object, it stores data with no expiration date. In the sense, if I if I close that session or if I close the browser, that data is going to remain forever. But if I make use of session storage, that data will be there only for one session. In the sense, if I close the browser, the data will be gone. That is the advantage of using session storage. And before starting with this local storage objects, I would like to tell a key point. Before using the local storage, we have to check first whether that local storage object is supported by the browser or not. Okay, and that's the key point we have to keep in mind. So, coming to the next slide, your we have a clear cut explanation like what is local storage object and session storage object. So, the local storage object it stores data with no expiration date. Keep in mind the local storage day object it stores the data within the browser with no expiration date. The data will not be deleted when the browser is closed and will be available in the next day, week or a year. This is the advantage of using a local storage. So without wasting much time, let me jump into Visual Studio and let me show you how to me how to uh, let me give you a demo of local storage. It's very simple. So here is my Visual Studio code. So what I do here is first first um, what I'll do what is the demo I'm going to show right now is I take a button and click of the button I I write a function which increases the number of counts which uh, writes the number of counts or I've clicked on the button so it's act like a counter so let me take a button so one sec yeah let me take a button so on the button let me tell like click me get the count okay and this is my button as of now we can observe very clearly and to this button what I'll do is I'll assign a on click attribute so on click on 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 click attribute what I'm trying to do is I'm going to get the count like how many times I've clicked the button so we have to display the result so let me display the result within a paragraph within a paragraph so I'm going to take a paragraph and to that paragraph let me assign an ID so the ID is uh, result so the ID is result so now what I need to do is I need to write I need to write a bit of JavaScript to see the functionality of local storage so what I do is I'll come here I'll add a script okay I'll add a script so in the script what I'm going to do is first point as I told you in my earlier presentation like first we have to check whether the local storage is supported by the browser or not that we are going to do right now so we are going to check whether it is supported by the browser or not so before that I need to call a function that is get count let me define the function here function is this so control s so now I'm going to tell like if if the type of storage type of storage okay if the type of storage let me take with the capital S if the type of storage is not equal to undefined it's not equal to undefined okay let me pass it as a string sense we are checking whether the browser is going to support the storage or not so if the type of storage is not equal to undefined okay then do some set of work or else or else okay or else 
else what i need to do is i need to just or i need to just uh, write a message okay where should i pass the message inside the div so document dot get element by id so the id is result result dot inner html is equal to so i'm passing a message telling like sorry your browser does not support the web storage concept sorry your browser does not support web storage so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to check whether my browser is going to support the web storage concept or not if it is going to support it's going to execute the code within this block or else it's going to just push this message to this paragraph with the ID result so now if it supports what we need to do is we need to increment the count for the button whatever present there so if again I'm going to take if local storage okay, if local storage dot let me define a count me so that like count me then uh, let me take it very clear with a perfect meaning like click the count so if this is the case if this is the case so I need to specify again the local storage local storage is equal to let me make use of number object so to this number object I'm going to tell like okay uh, take the count and every time when the user clicks increment it with the one increment it with the one this is what I'm trying to tell okay and if not if it is not going to support so it is not going to support what it has to do is it has to tell like local storage count just the one count just one time I clicked it so this is what it's going to do right now so once it has done this what we have to do is we have to push the result to the browser sorry on the we have to put the push that result count to this do element the, to this paragraph element so what I'm trying to do here is right now okay I'm going to tell like document dot get element by ID the ID is result okay the ID is result dot inner HTML is equal to okay um, let me pass a perfect string telling like you have you have clicked you have clicked the button you have clicked the button okay So the count will be present here in this variable click count so I'm going to pass here control B okay. plus times okay else else it has to this so this is what if the browser web, web storage is supported it has to execute this piece of code or else it has to execute this piece of code so now what I'll do is let me push this page to the browser so how do I do it I'll click here or I'll open in command prompt to specify demo.html when I click enter it's going to open the page here now you can observe the page here when I click on that right now I'm not getting anything so let me set to default I hope like we have some part of some error here so let us inspect it and let me check out like what is the error we have right now we don't have any error so when I click on that it should display the result so let me go back and let me check out what is the problem happening here so it is its ID document dot get element by ID result in our HTML is equal to this part So when I click on the button it has to execute so the problem is uh, it's your I should have passed this part I missed it control let me go back and let me refresh 
so when I click on that you can observe here you have clicked the button one time two times three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve now when I refresh now when I click again the count starts from the last part where it has left this is the beauty of local storage now when now the count is 26 time you click the button 26 time now if I close this browser and if I again if I again open this HTML page it starts from the count previously from where it has taken so right now it should start from you have clicked the button 26 times so we can observe here it's starting from 27 28 29 this is what we are storing the data locally this data okay this data whatever 32 times or it's coming right it's that data we are storing locally in the browser that's the reason it's starting from the previous count where it has happened okay this is the advantage of using the local storage now let me go with the session storage so let me show you the definition of session storage first the session storage object is equal to local storage object except that it stores data for only one session the data is deleted when the user closes the specific browser tab so right now when I close the browser okay for local storage okay, the data remains same if I reopen it again so let me show you data will remain the same if I reopen it again that is the advantage of using the local storage you can observe very clearly right now we are seeing a demo of local storage now when I click on that you can observe it starting from the 39th time okay but but if I go with the session storage now as soon as I close this browser it starts from the fresh again so let me show you a demo of session storage it's very simple so what I need to do is I need to just change this part to session storage SESSION let me copy this everywhere where I have the local storage and let me replace it advantage of using now let me show you a demo of session storage now what I need to do is I need to again open in command prompt and I need to run this page so when I'm running this page you can observe very clearly right now we are learning the concept of session storage so now when I click on it it's starting from 1 2 3 4 5 6 now when I refresh it again starts from 9 okay but but the difference is now when I close the browser okay this is session storage the data will be gone now when I close this browser and now if I retry to open it okay now you can observe very clearly okay that data last time it's 12th time we have clicked it now when I click again it's starting from first so this is the advantage of using the session storage okay so what we learned here is we learned like how to store data locally in the two forms that is one is session storage and local storage local storage the data will be deleted whenever the browser is closed will not be deleted whenever the browser is closed and will be available for the next time that is next day week or year but the session storage the data is gone as soon as one session is completed in the sense as soon as you close the browser the particular sessions data will be erased this is how you can store data locally within the browser with the help of these two beautiful objects that is local storage and session storage so what we learned in this session we learned in this session like how to store data locally with the help of two things local storage object and session storage object and they have their own importance so that's for the day. Thank you for listening. Have a great day. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Lang Pro Training. You can also like our Facebook page, visiting this URL. You can also follow us on Twitter. For further reference, refer our website. We are on LinkedIn too. Last but not the least, please don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you. Have a great day.